be very, very quiet. Today, we're talking rabbits. Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to the Shades of Green Show. Today's episode is all about rabbits and what they won't eat. If you're losing plants to rabbits, the culprit is most likely the eastern cottontail. Civilagus floridanus. They are the most common rabbit species in North America and the most prolific of rabbits in Texas. How prolific? They can begin reproducing as early as two months old and generally have three to four litters a year. They tend to be 15 inches long and weigh two and a half pounds. They're active year round and usually stay close to their original homes, which can be costly if their home is your yard. Collin County and North Texas have experienced a tremendous amount of growth over the last 20 years. All those new homes, businesses, and roads have pushed the rabbit's natural predators, namely coyotes and bobcats, out of the area while the cottontails remain. This combination of fewer predators and their predilection to breed like rabbits leaves a lot of bunnies looking for food. With their natural habitats gone to make way for humans, their only choice is to use your landscape as their salad bar. So what can you plant that they won't eat? Rabbits tend to avoid plants that are aromatic, fuzzy, prickly, or leathery. All the plants on this list have one of those traits, and some have two or more. That said, I want to stress that this is a list of rabbit-resistant plants, not rabbit-proof. I can't stand the texture or taste of avocados, but if I was starving to death, I bet I could scarf down an entire bowl of guacamole. Rabbits are the same way. If they're hungry enough, they'll eat plants that they would otherwise avoid. For a third of the plants on this list, I've had customers swear rabbits ate them. Maybe they did. But in general, these are the perennials least likely to be eaten by rabbits in North Texas. As a reminder, perennials are plants that, while they may go dormant or die back in winter, return year after year after year. Now, this list is alphabetical using the name most commonly used in these parts, but we're going to provide the Latin for each one so there's no confusion. So let's get to it. Here are 25 rabbit-resistant perennials for North Texas. Number one, a juga, also called bugleweed. This is a low-growing, evergreen ground cover that does best with some afternoon shade. Number two, Arkansas Blue Star. Number three, Artemisia, also known as Wormwood. At number four, Fall Aster, also called Aromatic Aster. This plant is native to Texas, and number five, New England aster. The asters are gonna bloom heaviest in the fall and are a great nectar source for bees and butterflies. Number six, autumn fern. This is gonna give you some great bronze coloring in the fall and winter. Number seven, autumn sage, salvia gregii, a great Texas native that grows about three feet tall and three feet wide. Number eight, azure sage. Number nine, barren wart. Number 10, beard tongue, also called pinstemon. Number 11, bee balm. And at number 12, wild bergamot. As the name suggests, these plants are great for attracting bees, but hummingbirds and butterflies love them as well. Number 13, black-eyed Susan, another great Texas native with these beautiful, golden yellow petals and dark centers. Number 14, Blackfoot Daisy, also a Texas native. The Blackfoot Daisy in my yard consistently produces masses of white flowers with bright yellow centers and they have a scent of honey. The secret though, they do not like to have wet feet. If you can keep their roots dry, you're gonna have a great looking plant. Number 15, Blanket Flower. Number 16, Blue Fescue ornamental grass. Number 17, butterfly weed, and all milkweeds for that matter, Texas has several that are native to the state. If you want to attract monarch butterflies to your yard, you must have milkweed. It's the only plant that they'll lay their eggs on. Number 18, candy tuft. This is one of the first perennials to begin blooming in early spring. Number 19, cat mint. Number 20, columbine. Number 21, Copper Canyon Daisy. Number 22, Creeping Gray Germander. Number 23, Daylilies. 
Daylilies come in a wide range of colors and sizes, and here in North Texas, you're gonna get your heaviest blooms in May and June. Number 24, the Tura, or Angel Trumpet. A dramatic night bloomer, all parts of the plant are toxic. And number 25, Dead Nettle, or Lamium. Wow, that's 25 plants, and we've only made it to the letter D. I guess that means another video with 25 more rabbit-resistant perennials for North Texas. Please like and subscribe and click that little bell icon to be notified when that video is released. Until then, I'm Tim, and thanks for watching the Shades of Green Show.